A new Wordle puzzle is online. Click on the link to play. Listening to the following video may give you clues. Please like and share the videos. GOP Representative Cawthorn calls leaked nude video blackmail. The GOP Representative for Missouri's 6th District, GOP Representative Cawthorn, has been the focus of controversy after a leaked nude video surfaced on the Internet. The leaked video shows a naked Cawthorn, and while CNN has not independently verified the video, we have contacted him for comment. The article also mentions his involvement in orgies, recent brushes with law enforcement, and a relationship with a junior member of staff. Cawthorn's alleged involvement in orgies, Republican Rep. Edison Cawthorn has apologized for making false claims about the orgies he attended with friends, but the public remains outraged. In a podcast interview, she said she saw a staffer do cocaine in front of her and that he invited her. In response, the House Minority Leader, Kevin McCarthy, promised to take action against Cawthorn. Republican lawmakers and the media were furious with Cawthorn's fabricated claims, but not all of them were true. The Republican representative had made up many stories before the election, and his claims made him an instant right-wing star. Other GOP representatives, however, took offense to his brush claims and expressed disbelief in his statements. One of them claimed Cawthorn was fielding questions about orgies from constituents. House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy, a Republican from California, said Cawthorn's claims are not credible. However, he did not rule out further disciplinary action against the first-term member. House Republicans have since met with the congressman in order to discuss the allegations and make sure he understands the consequences of his remarks. Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy has reportedly called Cawthorn into a meeting. After the CNN report, GOP senators rebuked the South Carolina representative over his comments on orgies. Some Republicans said Cawthorn was exaggerating the claims because he saw the staffer doing cocaine a hundred feet away. They added that Cawthorn's alleged involvement in orgies has caused them to lose trust. The Hill also removed its comment section but has invited readers to join the discussion on Twitter and Facebook. His claims that people in Washington have done cocaine in front of him. A DOP representative in North Carolina is making headlines over his claim that Washington elites have done cocaine in front of him. But while the allegations are certainly absurd, he is also making an odd claim. He claims to have seen people doing drugs in front of him in public. This is particularly troubling because Cawthorn, a conservative, supports President Donald Trump. The charges against Cawthorn are serious, but they have no proof. The claims came after CNN published stories alleging sexual misconduct by the congressman. The women accused Cawthorn of inappropriate behavior during his college years. He has denied these claims, but it is important to note that he is still relatively new to the House of Representatives and has made some big claims. The accusations have irked his colleagues and have led to calls to disqualify him from running for re-election. But Cawthorn's claims could hurt his chances of securing a majority in November. Although he is a GOP representative, his statements about drugs are not popular with voters in his home state. And while many people are shocked by his racial and sexuality characterizations, many are disappointed that he would even question the integrity of his colleagues. While these accusations are hardly credible, they do demonstrate a troubling lack of moral fiber. Many Republicans have repeatedly and outrageously lied about their own lives for years. The fact is that these supposedly responsible leaders have not done anything about it. If you've read any of his other articles, you know that he has no moral fiber whatsoever. His recent brushes with law enforcement officials. Oh, sir. Madison Cawthorn was caught with a loaded gun at an airport. Upon being flagged down by TSA agents, police found the gun in a carry-on bag. After identifying the bag's owner as the Republican congressman, police seized the gun and a loaded staccato 9 handgun. The alleged owner was released from custody without having to pay a fine. In addition to U.S. Senator Tom Tillis, Cawthorn faces two other Republican candidates, State Senator Chuck Edwards and State Representative Michelle Woodhouse. The far-right anti-establishment wing of the GOP has viewed Cawthorn with suspicion and sees him as a gatekeeper to the party. But while the Republican Party is divided on the issue, 
the state's judicial system is a crucible one. In a statement issued today, Representative Cawthorn's office said the incident is unrelated to the allegations. While the complaint has not detailed the nature of the charges against the congressman, it highlights the issue of political ties between lawmakers and the GOPS national leadership. While Cawthorn is a controversial figure, his Twitter presence is no guarantee of electoral success. Moreover, he lacks a solid base of supporters in his district. After being publicly exposed in the video, Cawthorn responded to the allegations on Twitter, suggesting that his colleagues should not cast stones. Although the allegations about Cawthorn's recent relationship with a male aide may have weakened his campaign, Democrats are particularly worried about his support for protesters who attacked the state capitol on Gen 6, 2021. This is a glaring problem in a partisan race, and Cawthorn's support for such a controversial figure could make her lose her seat. His relationship with a junior member of staff. The ethics investigation against GOP Rep. Cawthorn has exposed a disturbing and unsavory relationship between Cawthorn and a former staffer. The staffer, Jacqueline Smith, was once Cawthorn's intern. Since then, Smith has been a frequent visitor to his North Carolina home. They even dated. Cawthorn's wife has publicly condemned Smith for her conduct. Meadows nominated Cawthorn for admission to the Naval Academy in December 2013, but Cawthorn was traveling with a former classmate when the crash occurred. While Cawthorn has insisted that his plans to attend the academy were thwarted by his injuries, other former students at the college say they were thwarted. She's been forced to use a wheelchair and an exoskeleton since the accident. Several female staffers and supporters of Cawthorn have made credible allegations of inappropriate touching. A conservative talk show host interviewed Cawthorn in early 2017 and questioned his motivations. He claimed his decision was motivated by a broken heart. He also promoted right-wing causes and backed the Republican Party in its efforts to promote conservative values. In fact, he was a featured speaker at a rally for former President Trump before the Capitol incident, and is scheduled to speak at a Republican rally in Selma, NC on April 21. The allegations against GOP Rip Cawthorn stem from his relationship with a junior member of his staff. It also involves two firearms charges and failed to obtain a hunting and fishing license. The allegations are still being investigated by the House Ethics Committee. But Wheeler and Bade have a different view. Neither Cawthorn nor Wheeler have been cleared of any wrongdoing. His Venmo comments, Joe Biden and Dr. Joe Biden have been found on Venmo, a social network for payments between friends. By default, transactions on Venmo are public, but users can opt to make them private. This makes them easily accessible to reporters, who regularly scan them for leads. The Venmo comments come after an explosive New York Times report detailing his conditions in the White House. The report detailed long policy debates, angry outbursts at administration officials, and time spent with his grandchildren. Earlier this year, the Trump administration was struggling to grapple with the growth of TikTok, a social media application owned by the Chinese company ByteDance. 